are about to see what it's like from the passenger's perspective when catastrophe strikes and a jetliner crashes. This is an ambitious and dangerous test. A Boeing 727 was intentionally crashed in the desert to learn what really happens to passengers when a plane goes down and how they can survive it. It's part of Discovery Channel's Curiosity plane crash and ABC's Neil Karolinski has the story. You're watching the final moments of one of the most dramatic one-way trips ever recorded. No need no seatbelts no more. This Boeing 727 is being deliberately crashed into the desert. On board, more than a half million dollars worth of crash test dummies, 38 specialized cameras, sensors, and a crew of incredibly daring pilots wearing parachutes. Minutes before impact, they bail out of a hatch in the back of the plane. Jumpers away, jumpers away. Then, the huge jetliner careens into the ground. A horrific yet survivable crash that tears the plane apart. This stunning made-to-order catastrophe was done for the Discovery Channel show Curiosity Plane Crash after four years of planning and with a huge team of experts, all to better understand what really happens to people on board. I suspect this one may have a concussion and that one may have a broken leg. Dr. Cindy Burr was in charge of the unlucky passengers. She told us her data makes crystal clear that bracing for impact can be a lifesaver. What should you do? Put your head... You put your head down, put your hands over... Your hands over your head... Yeah, your head. And just hold it. And, and that works? Well, yeah, it does. The crash was a belly flop, slightly nose first. Passengers near the front took the brunt of it. Rows 7 and forward were considered fatal. Seat 7A was actually catapulted out of the plane. Many of the seat belted passengers who didn't bend over to brace had spinal injuries from jerking forward in their lap belts. We're going to put both of them on the sled and then we're going to see what happens. And she showed us something else in her lab, a simulated mother holding an infant on her lap, a familiar money saver for parents everywhere. After a relatively minor impact, the mother can't hold on. Even though she's done the same thing as a parent, Dr. Burr says having a child on your lap simply isn't safe. There's no way. That impact is so severe, there's no way you could hold that child. The plane crash revealed other things, too, like the tremendous amount of debris that can be deadly to anyone sitting upright. Also, how critical it is to be able to make your way out fast. Generally, sitting within five rows of an exit gives a passenger the best odds. That was quite possibly the most spectacular thing I've ever seen in my life. The science of destruction. A picture-perfect crash, a wrecked jetliner, and a treasure trove of new information about what it takes to survive the unthinkable. For Good Morning America, Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Detroit.